Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 12th tutorial of Power BI. In previous class, we have discussed the difference between reference and duplicate table. And now we will study the last topic of our Power Query Editor part, which are joins. You guys are from SQL background, so definitely you would know about this concept. So to understand this topic, you need to go and watch my fourth tutorial of Power BI where I have discussed about the merge and append query. But if you following this series step by step, so no need to watch and you guys can easily understand. While making merge query, we have an option there which are called joins. So under merge query, we have six kind of joins. And we will study in detail one by one in today's class. So guys, this class might go long because the concept is very wide. Let's start the video guys. So let's go to the power query editor window and I have already uploaded two tables here guys because we need at least two tables to make join. So firstly I'll make you understand the data set. So you guys can see there are two tables. So in first table there are 20 customers and out of that five are renowned actors. You guys can see here is a list of Akshay Kumar, Taru Khan. Salman Khan, Amir Khan and Rajkumar Rao. And in second table, we have taken the list of five well-known actresses, which is Deepika, Katrina, Sonakshi, Vidya Balan and Karishma Kapoor. I have created this table for you guys so that you guys can better understand this concept. And under merge query, first table is known as left table and the second table is known as right table. So you need to keep in mind. So now simply go to the merge queries and now click merge queries as new. So let's go to the join kinds. You guys can see here there are six kind of joins. The first join name is left outer. So this join guys help you fetching records from left table and represent the unmatched value from the right side table in the form of null. Let's get the practical guys so that you guys can easily understand. So first I'll select left outer and click this small drop down and select the second table. I need to select the matching column from both the table. So customer name is common. So I will select the customer column name. And here is one small checkbox which is use fuzzy matching to perform the merge. So I will explain this concept at the end of this video. So for now only click OK. And now we have a new column guys. And we need to expand this. So you guys can see we have a list of all the 20 names from the left table. But from the right table we have fetched 15 names. Because the last 5 names are not matched with the right table. So let's go to the right table and see these last 5 names are not in left table. So now you guys can understand about the left join which means fetching full records from the left table and unmatched value represent in the form of null in right table. So let me rename this first, which is left outer join. So now move to the another join, which is right outer. It is totally opposite of left outer join. Go to the merge queries and merge queries as new. So this time I will select right outer and click this small drop down and select the second table which is right table. And again we need to follow the same procedure. We need to select the same column name from both the table which is customer name. And now click OK. And now we need to expand this table and click OK. So we guys can see we have fetched the 20 value from the right table. And rest five names are represented in the form of null in left table. Because these five names are not in right table. So now you guys can understand about the right join, which means fetching full record from the right table and unmatched value represent in the form of null in left table. So I rename this which is right outer. Now we will move towards the third join, 
So again, go to the merge query. Merge query as new. Then simply I'll select left table here and right table here. And this time I'll select the fuller outer join. Then we need to select the same column from both the table. Then click OK. Now I am expanding this table and after that. So this join simply means we can fetch all the records from both the table. Either they are matched or unmatched. If data is not matched with the right table, then it will reflect as null. So full outer join basically fetch the records from both the table. Either they are matched or unmatched. I'll rename this as well. Now let's go to the next join. Let me select the second table first and the left table here and I need to select inner join this time and match with same column. And this table. So this join only shows matching records from both the table. Like we have 15 names are common in both the table. So this will fetch you only 15 records. I hope you guys understand about the inner join as well. Now come to the next join. And this time I will select left anti join. And select the common record. Now I will expand this. Table. Left anti join always display the unmatched record. These are the five records which are not matched in right table. I'll rename this which is left anti join. Now come to the last join which is right anti. Last join is right anti. Let me expand this. So this is also display the unmatched data which are not under in left table and we guys know that five actresses names are not in left table. So that will display only unmatched records in right table and other values are represent in the form of null. So in this way we can use these kind of joins. So I hope you are clear with the topics of joins. So let me rename this join first which is right outer. I hope you guys cleared with this concept. And if you still have doubt, so I would recommend go and watch this video again and practice with the data set. I have given the practice file here in the description box. So now I will make you understand the fuzzy making. So let me add on one more table here to understand the fuzzy lookup. Now I have uploaded one more table here guys. So let's start the practical. In left table, we have a list of customer name. And in third table, we also have the customer name. But here is a one catch guys. If you see the spelling is incorrect of Salman Khan and also the spelling is incorrect of Akshay Kumar. I have missed H in Akshay Kumar and I have also incorrect this spelling which is S L A M E N. So now go to the merge query first. Select left table and I will also select the third table. Now I'll select the common column from both the table. And now you guys can see the selection matches 18 of 20 rows because you guys know the two spellings are incorrect. Once I click it, this use fuzzy matching to form the merge. So you guys can see the selection matches 20 out of 20 rows. So fuzzy matches basically do just to catch the incorrect spelling with the similar thing. And now we click OK and expand this table and click OK. Now you guys can see still we have a correct record although we have our incorrect spelling in third table. So in this way you can use the fuzzy lookup. Let me rename this. So whatever changes we have made in Power Query Editor, after cleansing this data, you need to click this button which is close and apply. Then it will upload to the Power BI desktop. 
and click here apply changes and this is our last part of power query editor if you guys have any doubt in any topics please do comment in comment section box and from next class we will start new topic which is data modeling so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned very interesting concept of power bi and i would also suggest one more thing that this topic is really important for an interview point of view most of the recruiters ask about this joins so please make a separate note of it and do more practice so thank you so much guys for your support and please share this channel with your family and friends and please share with those who really want to learn power bi from scratch so thank you so much guys and don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you so much